was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Hello and welcome to this PC Time Capsule video. Looking today at Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. Really a classic game from Remedy here. I'm joined by my friend and colleague, John Lindeman, who's joining me on the PlayStation 2. How are you doing there, John? I am feeling maximum pain because I'm playing <laughs> the PlayStation 2 version for the very first time, Alex. I have never played this version until yeah. today because I think like most sane people, I said, this is a PC game. Gosh darn it. I'm going <laughs> to play this on my PC. Uh, but we decided, let's see how it stacks up this. on the worst version. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's an Xbox version out there. Uh, we don't have access to it. Uh, yeah, at the I could. I could not easily get my hands on that in time Let's just when you that. decided to and do this video. And I don't <laughs> yeah. have a good way to, to run to burden that either. Sadly. So yeah. Whatever. Oh yeah. yeah keep that on the DL. <clears throat> keep that. No one knows about that. Uh, but anyway. So this is a yeah. big PC game. I'm playing on a retro PC. This is a Pentium Four, three gigahertz. Uh, I'm using a GPU from the exact, from the month when this game came out. Uh, it's a ATI 9800, Radeon 9800 Pro. Um, Sound Blaster EAX running here. We, we got, we got the, we're styling on PC for this game. Uh, and I'm running the game at 1024 by 768 max settings with four times MSAA. And we'll talk about some more about the graphics later. But you should already start to see yeah, some differences. Uh, a lot. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about this as we go. But I will say the first thing I was surprised to see is that they actually did keep in the physics. And I such. know, right? Like, the, the physics are still here. And I, I, you know, you almost might take that for granted that it's, like, part of the game. And you would say, yeah, of course they're there. But, like it's a ps2 like this is uh <laughs> the physics in this game were really high end for the time this was one of the first games to have so many movable physics objects and they actually yeah. kept them i'm which kudos to whoever ported this i yeah, didn't kudos expect that to them. Uh, yeah this is one of the games i believe it is using actually havoc middleware yeah uh, i think remedy so. would switch over time to some other solution like now that is these physics actually um Let's go out but the now this is continue. havoc much like you would see in a in a form in uh Oh wait, wait. This is this is one thing. Look at oh this. Go yeah, back. yeah, yeah. There's no mirror. <laughs> the mirror yep, is just not there. Absolute failure. But I mean, it's not bad. This is actually using render to texture. It's not doubling the geometry because no, on the I PC know. version, you can see it is uh, lower res than the main viewport. And I think they could have they could have done it on PS2 and many games had mirrors. Oh, yeah. But I think given everything else going on, probably not feasible. Now check this out though. I, yeah, I opened the door. Much. I love it. That stuff goes flying. You <laughs> got the table with the jars on it that you can knock over. Also, knock it all over. Also love it. It is amazing looking, honestly. And then I'm going to run forward. It's going to trigger a cutscene, which causes like a big pause as it spins up the DVD like that. <laughs> but you notice both, they both have, uh, so actually this was one of the first games I remember having this sort of uh, motion blur effect on the PC, the cumulative motion blur. Oh yeah, it was not common on the PC, but it was everywhere on PS2. Devs love to use that. <laughs> it's it's got its place, and in this game, they use it like when you go into bullet time. Yeah, yeah. look at the size of that door. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Also, <laughs> I mean, he's halfway up to the handle. <laughs> look at that. He's like, I'm a big boy. I'm Max Payne. I can open the door. He's like, you know, he can open. It's it's like he can just barely get in there. He just some... barely get. I love this. This is something that just from the time period, like everything was always wonky. Oh, um, I just realized that the vending machine, though, is an address unknown themed machine. Oh, that's great, actually. And yeah, there's a lot of internal callbacks here uh, all throughout. So um, as we continue forward, let's go ahead and continue down this hallway and go on in mm -hmm. here. We'll look more at stuff. But I think it's I worth starting to mention some of the differences. And I think right there you really see... One of the biggest changes is, well, textures, because the PlayStation 2, doing textures on PS2 was not easy. And there's ways no. to do it better or worse, but this is a game built for PCs, and it clearly relied heavily on high-detail textures. And the PS2 just couldn't necessarily hang with that uh, for mm. multiple reasons. So all the textures took a gigantic quality hit. They're like maybe quarter is. Oh, what the hell's going on with the frame rate? It's not liking whatever's going. I think it was just because of all the physics objects that were yeah. interacting with each other at it the end of that been. cutscene. 
Uh, but anyway, so PS2, obviously, it has to rely on palletized textures. So all the textures are stored in monochrome. And then they apply color with palettes. Cool, cool idea, actually, by the way. It's, it's a great way to save on, on memory, I would say. It is actually a great way. Oh, that's the one the, where it activates when you go in yeah. this room. Another thing you'll notice, uh, we'll talk some more about some of those textures later, but... Uh, what is like, there? Mom is there. They managed to keep that texture high res enough to look fine, but look, just look at like yeah. Max's face, like his nose, like it's all rounded on PC. He has a very different profile as a result in the PlayStation Two version, yeah, which is kind of kind of weird looking. It's interesting that they they yeah. had to do that, and um, I think that's just that's the nature of trying to port a game like this. But I will say, this looks. I mean, it looks significantly worse, but. From what we've seen thus far, it does at least manage to kind of keep the essence of yes, the game. It still looks like the game, just like on a lot lower settings is all. It's not like right. wholly different. And you, you can know? see, yeah, it's missing. Like, for instance, here, uh, they got rid of half of the benches, but it's like yes. a minor level design tweak. And they still have some exterior stuff, including the trees out there. So, it's not like when we were playing Half-Life. Uh, I remember in one scene we were playing Half-Life and you were on the, the Xbox version. They even cut off parts of the level geometry like completely. Yeah. Or like the last Max Payne when we looked at that, that the was... PS2 version. Also, it had missing areas. In it, so, yeah, kind of like this doesn't look great, but like compared to what we saw with the Max Payne 1 port, I do kind of feel like this is actually somewhat more competent. Which, which is interesting because the game itself was significantly more demanding than Max Payne 1 was on the PC, yeah. right? Like, it was a big upgrade. It is a big upgrade. The one thing I noticed is that, like, so I'm playing this on a P4, 3 gigahertz, which is top of the line for around 2003 when this game oh, yeah. came out. At least top of the line Intel. I don't have an AMD chip from this era. Let's go in the elevator. Uh, let's go in the elevator. You can appreciate the low-res texture action. <laughs> Uh, is that it will be CPU limited at times. There will be times, it's targeting 60 FPS here at 1024 by 768, four times MSAA. But it's mainly CPU limited. So when there's a lot of enemy AI going on, or when there's like a particularly long view in the distance, then you'll see the frame rate on my end dropping below 60 FPS. And no matter what graphical settings I have, like zero MSAA, four times MSAA, the performance is the same as you're seeing here on screen right now. So it's one thing that's common. I've noticed when I play games from this era on this P4 machine, uh, it's commonly the games end up being CPU limited. And I think oh, yeah. it makes sense. Uh, like Pentium 4, only okay. And this is DX9 or even below. This is actually mainly a DX81 game. Uh, this is the era of PC that was not at all low level in any sense of the word. Nope. And this is like t the time period when John Carmack famously said you'd get 2x out of a console hardware than what you get out of a PC. And he was referencing like the API limitations of DX9 right. at that time point, or OpenGL at least. And so, yeah, it's a worth, lot of games end up being worth CD thinking limited. about. It. I mean, the PS2 is what? It's like a 300 megahertz system with like 32 megabytes of RAM, and the game has to run from an optical disc. Yeah, like, the fact that it's running at all is kind of a miracle. Right. And then <laughs> In comparison to this monster that it's going that P4 up against. The P4 and that graphics card are way beyond the PS2. Oh my God, so, yeah. like, the fact that this even runs and looks like it resembles Max Payne 2, it's, you know, that's that's already not bad. But, yeah, as you can oh. see there, the text, man, there's texture. <laughs> all the takes, texture differences. Takes such a hit, dude. Like, one of the things, though, that I do love about the texture differences is, like, you're saying the palletized stuff. Like, so the PC version, I wouldn't say this game is particularly colorful. Let's skip this, by the way. Um, I wouldn't say it's particularly colorful. No. But, you know, it has a variety of texture colors. You got, like, blues and reds and stuff in there. But since they, the game wasn't designed around that on PS2, a lot of the environments end up looking a lot more monochromatic than they arguably should. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of funny just to see, like, in that last scene with Mona, like, the floor was like yellowish on PC, but on your end, it was like kind of white almost? Yeah. I don't know. You know, I it, I actually was thinking about this stuff in relation to people that have color blindness, and I'm wondering if right. they end up looking more similar. Uh, <laughs> That's true. It, it's almost like that. they see the world through palletized uh, textures. <laughs> palletized <or> eyes? <laughs> palletized <laughs> eyes. Wasn't you skipping palletized this? vision. There we go. Yeah, palletized vision. Yeah, this is another area we're going to have a lot of fun pointing out the differences. Oh, yeah. Uh, Look at that. Just the color of that fence. Look at that. That car. I think that's supposed oh, to that be a car. Ford Taurus. Like a 90s it's Ford something. Taurus. 
Probably oh not a God. show, that, an SHO though. That Max face though, like where he's got like that like pinched nose. Mm -hmm. It totally changes the character model. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I really feel like, um, I mean, I would say, especially Japanese developed PS2 games from this era largely had much better character models than this. Oh, but yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's because they built this from the PC game that made it especially challenging. And right away, you see here, MGS2 does what, what you're seeing there on PS or on the PC, which is basically flipping the geometry under the scene and then making a transparent texture with some blending mm -hmm. there to create the illusion of reflection. Uh, I'm sure they could have done it here technically, but perhaps the geometry budget would have been too much to pull it off. And they're it's basically like, stuff. nope. That also eats more into memory as well. Maybe it's not even geometry. It could be memory. Like, I think the RAM situation for this is, is just grisly because trying to play this game with 32 megs of, of memory, that's... Uh, it's a big ass. Another thing, like, so there's two things, not just the the doubled up geometry reflection on the ground, which I always love that MGS2 trick when you showed it. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. It's, it's amazing looking. Uh, but also the car, you can see like a cube map or a reflection map being yeah, uh, applied that, to it. So it looks even suitably shiny. It doesn't look like a cube map. It just looks like one of those reflection like textures. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's it looks like something like this area should look like. Yeah. Um, And then another thing is that there is actually what appears to be a bump map on the back of Max's yeah. uh, coat here. So Obviously you can see it like not here lining up there with like the various folds and the clothing. Obviously it's a little awkward that he doesn't take steps and he just spins around like this. Um, but that's, you know, PC games from this era. You didn't usually see like sidestepping animations in most game. It keeps the game brisk. Yeah, let's go. Let's go forward. This is a little hidden hideaway. Okay. Yeah. Level. So we go over here. Um, Oh, oh, Knock. the physics. Oh, you only get, see, but you only get one See, they reduced, plank. they reduced the number of planks. So, again, we have one plank over here, a barrel, and one piece of, like, wood. Oh, yeah, wait, I gotta yeah. blow this up. So, you, they didn't even give you the explosive barrel here? Oh, they did. Oh, yeah, uh-oh. Be careful. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Well. I want to detonate this. Let's see what happens. They actually spawn a light. That's awesome. Yeah, so... Just even seeing physics back then, to this degree, was You awesome. have a puddle here, and mm -hmm. so does this version, Adam. but it does not have reflections. So, you almost couldn't tell it's a puddle. Uh, one thing that we <laughs> did notice though, that's interesting is that you do actually get the uh, slow-mo effect. When you go slow-mo, the rain actually slows down with mm -hmm. you, which I think yeah, is a, looks a nifty effect. Awesome. It looks 3D as a result. Which is very cool. I uh, like that. And they kept the uh, the sort of like lens flare effect on the lights, mm -hmm. the light corona. It's all there actually. So they actually got that in there. Uh, so That's if we go good. on into the warehouse, the thing about this game is I feel like so I bought this day one as well uh, with that nice paper. It was like a a glossy paper case with a plastic tray and two discs. Uh, I still have it. And uh, I remember playing this on my PC, and I would have had a Pentium 3, 3 gigahertz with uh, an ATI Radeon 9700 Pro, specifically one of the Evil Commando cards, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> that, that name doesn't get any... So, oh okay. my god. Yeah, this is another thing we got to point out. So We haven't mentioned the shadows yours, yet, right? Yeah, we haven't mentioned that yet. So on yours, there's just like a, a drop shadow. Very common thing you'd see in platforming games. Yep. On my end... There's like a projected shadow map, which is pretty cool. And actually it does line up with where the light is coming from so you can see it move like yep. this. Uh, but also you can see that they're faking variable penumbra. That's so it's so like where cool. his feet are, yep. it's a bit tighter and then it spreads out a bit towards the end. I don't know how they're doing it exactly, but it looks awesome. Man. And it's a funny thing again is that uh, this, that sort of shadow casting, not necessarily that quality, but that was like a big thing of Metal Gear Solid 2 as well that they showed mm -hmm. off a lot in that game is dynamic shadows, even when you have your flashlight. But oh, that's awesome. I think one of the things to consider is that the environments in this game are generally larger between loading screens. And oh, 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 look at this. So this, this caught my eye. Uh, look at this texture here. For whatever reason, they decided to do point sampling on it. So it's not even filtered. <laughs> Uh, it's PS1 which is honestly really rare and weird to see on PS2. Like you don't normally see textures that go unfiltered like that. 
and I, I wasn't actually aware that artists could specify, like, don't filter this texture. I had no idea. There's also, like, if you recall, when we did the Matrix game yeah. on PC, oh, right. that game, the PC version, had weird, completely point sample textures, too, at times for no yeah, reason. Yeah, I remember that now. <laughs> I'm just recalling that all of a sudden. It's like, look at this. I've seen this before. You see this auto-aim in effect, by the way? It's like, oh, yeah, it's like... But then if I it's run too far, game. it disconnects. So, like, you get it for a little bit, and then it pops off. That's, that's weird. That's interesting. I think you can turn that off, but that's, uh, again, because aiming with, with the stick, you know, in a game that's focused on precision, maybe less easy. Okay, so he's going to be uh, oh, wait, a bad guy. He's a bad guy. Get rid of him. So he, and then his, his buddies. Let's, uh... Okay, so... And yeah, they got man. The the, I gotta say, the physics are good, and this they still look pretty good. The, the thing is, there's like a, a great mixing of ragdoll and animation. So yeah. like, there's a there's a hit reaction that they have when they're shot. Uh, I'll show you some B-roll footage of that. And then towards the end, they turn into a ragdoll, yep, and it makes yep. and they're very heavy ragdolls too. They're not like. I would say half life two's ragdolls are a little bit like light, so they kind of fly everywhere just yeah, to show off I, the effect. I agree. It doesn't it feels flimsy. It the, does in comparison. I think the you're right, the ragdoll in Max Payne 2 looks better than Half Life 2. Yeah. I do, do I do love the, the breakable stuff here. There's also this. Wait. I think it just sets off a chain reaction of Do I have that barrel? barrel flying? Maybe not. It's over here near the uh, forklift. Yeah, it's right there in the corner. It's oh, just hard to see because it's not so radically red on yours. Like the couch. I like that. that. They don't have. <laughs> that should be a name for the color itself. Radically red. <laughs> radically red. Okay. Do they have this over here? The Ragnarok. Yeah, it's there. So they kept that. It's like totally doesn't even need to be there, but they kept it. All oh, right. and I haven't mentioned yet how I'm actually running this, and I think that's oh, actually yeah, worth do, worth that's talking awesome. about. Uh, so I am using this with the retro gem, so I can actually bring that up real quick. Mm -hmm, you can see, it. and this is the uh, the HDMI mod. I've used it before, but if you look down there in the lower left, you'll see it's running at 704 by 480, which <laughs> means totally we are running it in 480p. So I actually used the uh, free McBoot memory card with the option to force video mode, basically. And mm. this game runs internally with a full frame buffer. So by switching it to 480p, I basically get progressive scan at no no extra charge on on original hardware. So you're playing the game basically in a way that looks way higher res than the way people might have arguably right. even seen. And whatever. you don't need a mod if you just have the free McBoot card and component cables. You can also force 480p in this. It's just I'm using the HDMI mod for extra clarity, uh, which looks really good. Oh, it does look great. And yeah, we tried that so with Max Payne 1, but the game crashes. So not every <laughs> game works with 480p. Works well. Works okay. well. But this one, oh, it seems pills. to work okay. Wait, those aren't pills? My bad. Wait. Maybe it's in this room that the pills are there. Yeah, I think this is the door right here. You have to, hit, you have to hit use on it. Okay. You go up the stairs right up here. Oh, yeah. I'm here. And there should be a dude standing around with some explosives. Oh, I see this guy. He, he is now dead. Uh oh, I'm just explosives. standing there like a, a fool. I'd love that. I don't know if you you if you can do it on your end too. You should be able to, but you can blow a hole in the the, the concrete here, the cement, and see like the rebar. See the the the, um, the jerry can as they oh. call them. Oh, well, it worked on your end. It the did, frame rate didn't the like it, frame rate it did, did not enjoy that, but it did actually <laughs> it did work. Not. It gives me a flashback to Red Faction. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Okay, next door. But, like, all these, like, physics objects yeah, on the ground. I should not be... Latvia, baby. Like Where's that at? Okay, so there's some ammo. Oh, yeah, I should pick up some ammo. I got to say, like, again, until today, I'd never seen this running on PS2, and, yeah... It does look not great. Yeah, but we can see it. I could like, see how people would still enjoy playing this game on here. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Is there some kind of like weird ammo. texture thing going on? Look at the wall here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, what is that? Or is it just like color banding? 
I think it's just color. I think banding. it's intense color banding. That's weird. It's for some reason, right there. I don't yeah, know I wonder why. What, I wonder if they're. I wonder if they're running this in a lower color depth to save on memory. Because PS2 games are phone, by the way, typically uh, 24-bit color. But this one, maybe it's just 16. I don't know. There should be 32 on PC. I'm pretty sure. Probably. I think, at least. Uh, I did pick the highest color depth possible. Okay. In the game. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue that you really can't hear on your end. Yeah, I'm, I'm the only one who has their headphones in to hear the game. <laughs> I am not monitoring the audio in this game yeah. right now. Sometimes it helps uh, to monitor audio when you're playing. We figured that out the hard way at times in the oh. past. Whenever a cutscene shows up, the game's like... Oh, yeah, this is a particularly brutal cutscene, honestly. <laughs> Like, I remember seeing this first time. I was like, oh, they're going to introduce this character. She doesn't have, she has different hair on your version, by the way. They don't have, like, any of the, uh... I noticed none of the, uh... The locks yeah. at all in there. Oh, my, like, that's right. That. Oh, my gosh. Oh. This poor woman. Yeah. Those textures. Those textures, I feel bad for her. <laughs> that... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but you can see like the uh, Oops, there's a special the skin table. shading option in the PC version, and it does change the way the skin looks. It gives them like a more less like normal like bad look. I don't know how to say normal like, bad look. Yeah, normal bad look. Uh, but it, it does give them like a hint of shading in this difference. It's something obviously that wouldn't be on the PlayStation Two version. Nope. This is a it's from what I remember famous, seeing the yeah. Xbox version feels like a halfway point in a way where it's got more. It's got some stuff. It's. I, I mean, you've looked at it as well, right? Like it's it's I just different. Briefly did, yeah. It's yeah. It's similar yet different. It's not clearly not the PC version, but it has more going on in the PS2 version, which you'd mm, expect. I think given that it's I know, think it's got like better like shadows, uh, as in the the few real time shadows that the game has. I don't think it may have some of the shading, but otherwise, I think it's actually maybe similar, just with an uncapped frame rate. Yours is like targeting thirty, yeah, right? Yeah, this is thirty exactly. It tops out at thirty. S sawed off shotgun. So awesome. So how do I actually use um, painkillers? Your pills? For me, it's tab. So oh, I have no okay. idea what it would be for you. Circle. So one thing we haven't showed off, obviously, um, there's a lot of like environmental interaction in the game. It's not just physics. Like right. these physics are really cool for 2003. But like all the, like the water coolers can be turned on and off. If you find a sink, they can all be turned on and off. Uh, the, like the toilets are all flushable because you know this is a game from that era. These are things that were important back then. <laughs> I know. We as, a, we as a society have lost something. <laughs> you cannot flush toilets in modern games usually. So Actually, do, is this the fire extinguisher? Continue on? Yeah. No, oh, yeah, you have to go over there. That's where you get the shotgun for the first time. The non sawed off version of the shotgun. Okay, here we go. There he goes. It's pain! I love doing that. Like that. Like, look at the way that guy fell into the thing behind him. Oh, it's, the violence is so good. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I'm not a psychopath, but, like, good violence in a video game? Satisfying. It is, yeah. It is. Yeah. Don't disagree. Yeah, don't disagree. Just accept I it. assume that this works really well on the Steam Deck. Uh... I, I, you know, one thing that is a thing in modern Windows, at least, it is not very easy to get this game running. Oh, really? A lot of issues with Ryzen processors and things okay, like so that. Okay, so maybe it does not PC work gaming wiki. on the uh, Steam yeah. Deck. <laughs> maybe it doesn't work too well by default on the Steam Deck. There's probably a way. But, but there's probably a way. Uh, I, I think I actually read that people have been playing this recently on Steam Deck while doing some research for this video. And... Um, yeah, it's it's a game that so right now Remedy in the future is going to be remaking Max Payne one and two, which is amazing. Um, I'm very curious to see what they'll be doing with it now, especially uh, at the beginning of this video. Uh, you'll see a dedication. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Max Payne voice actor passed away recently, which is an awful thing to have happened. Yeah. Um, but like the question is like, what do you do in light of that? Do you kind of like respect the awesome voice acted performance you have back then in Max Payne two, which is honestly great yep. like i don't see any reason why it needs to be changed do you do you use that voice acting again like how do you do it exactly in light of everything and in, in light of the fact that it's going to be a remake too like 
this game doesn't have many traditional cutscenes. A lot of the game is like those comics. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, how do you remake that? I don't know. Does this actually have a light flashing on yours? No. I'm very curious. Oh, wait, they don't even have it open on yours. Oh, go to the right. The store. Yeah, that's just a little environmental uh -huh. interest. Okay, if we go back out here. Yeah, this is like one of the first larger gunfights you actually get into in this area. So here's what surprises me the most so far about this version of the game is that Over here. Uh, if you recall Max Payne 1, they divide it up into so many tiny little sections with loading screens. Right! And there hasn't been any extra loading screens yet. Yeah, other than for the... Uh, yeah, you have to go over here again. You have to basically go the way we just came earlier. Oh, right. Yeah, ba other than the slight loads from disc that you get... Yeah. The, 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 what was he thinking with that forklift, I wonder, always? <laughs> what, what was the idea behind that? Um, it's pretty easy to die in the PC version if I'm not paying attention. But... Uh, other than the slight loads for the, on the, the, the cutscenes, the cut you've had no split up level geometry like the first game. No, had. not yet. I mean, that could still very well happen, but it, still it could, does yeah. feel like they've done a better job at sort of retaining the the pacing and design of the oh. original PC oh. game. Whoa. Oh, I just <laughs> I got crushed to death, John, by the falling. <laughs> no! Uh oh, John. No, please. Load last save game. Oh no. No! Oh, John! Well, I just went through the door, firing at this van. Oh my god, no! John! Oh man, I can't believe it. It's... I, I, can't, I forgot about that. Let's be honest with you. That's my fault. This is the way of the PC at the <laughs> This is the way of the PC. I'm gonna really briefly. Uh, Run back up through, through the magic of editing. Through the magic of editing, you will see this be perfectly lined up <laughs> in the final video. But yep, that just happened. One hour later, and we're back. As you can tell, I managed to beat that level. Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations! I've proved the worth of our culture. Um, yeah, this is a great game. I'm enjoying this thoroughly. He has fingers. He's got fingers. <laughs> Oh, there he is. I always like that shot, the way he runs around the Yeah, that's there. great. Uh, it's, this game doesn't have a lot of moving camera shots, no, so other rare, than pans. That's a rare one. All right, so, so let's, how, how does this compare then? So How does this compare? What gun do you have out? You have a shotgun out? So, uh, yes. Yeah, you do. So right away, interestingly, they made, a, they made big change to the geometry in the scene. You see that? Yeah, the, the arches, arches. They simplified from, like, the them. the church arches. On the Makes PSG. sense. Uh, the but light maps are still there, but they're just different. It's like it just looks a little like different. Grayer. It's grayer as usual. You're you're missing the, the stacks a couple of, of the, the stacks the of right. stuff and on the left and the toolboxes. Yeah, exactly. Missing. So that's all been reduced a bit here and there. But you like, know if you look at this, like it's just like it's like they just have less stuff. That's that's very sensible cuts to make, I would say. What about over here? Do you, there's a, there's a couple of bodies here with some ammo, or is this if I recall. Down this hallway. Yeah, so you don't have the bodies, but you're there's maybe gonna body. have the ammo. There's a body. And there's containers of uh, protein powder. <laughs> a bricked over wall. There is texture slathered on it. Actually, one thing that is a little surprising is, wait, is this guy actually a physics object? I was about to say, he doesn't seem to be a physics object, but he is. Like, watch this. Yeah, he is. That's the best. Oh, man. Are they on yours, on the PS2 version, too? So. Let's... Can you shoot them? No, they aren't. Not physics. They are not physics. Huh. All That's right. kind of a... Weird thing they did but i mean i guess if you don't want to have like just constantly the cpu being thrashed on the ps2 yeah why not right actually i'm pretty impressed with where they've made cuts like just taking out objects here and there you know reducing a little bit of scene complexity here and there toning down which objects have active physics like all those little things make a lot of sense in terms of winning back as much performance as possible oh they do one second i just want to double check what the <laughs> what the quick save button is I forget. Uh, what would it be under? Should let me go to load. Quick saved. Maybe it's like F5. It's probably F5. Let's just check really quickly. Game yeah, game saved. F5. F5. All right, onward. Let's go. Hey, at least they actually have steps. Like they could have. I know. They could have done that thing where they just. What does this like guy a... do? He just like. 
Totally. <laughs> he like just went around the corner like dumb stuff. What was that? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I just got lit the F up here. My goodness, I'm gonna... Good thing I saved, John, as I said that. Oh, man. So I'm playing Ring the game on the... all down the steps. He's like, uh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this game, uh, I'm gonna use my Ingram, which is, uh, I think, a Mac 10. Gosh. What a game. I kind of wish they left the color grading like this all the time. It does look pretty cool, doesn't it? it looks, Actually, let me do that. It looks significantly better, especially on this version. Yeah, on this version, I mean, it is, it's like higher pu puncher contrast, uh, a bit more filmic tone map. Oh, like, the adventures of Captain Baseball CPM. Bad Boy. Yeah, the so there's a whole bunch of like side remedy universe stuff I forgot everywhere. All about that. Uh, like, it's like a, a signature at this point of a Remedy game that you can, like, stop by a television and just watch yep, yep. the funniest stuff playing. It's the best. My lady, wait. My lord. My lady, this is a surprise finding you here. Were you looking for me by chance? My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I am here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see us together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady! I think we have to hit the button. I here. did, I did. Listen. Oh, you are? Okay. I don't know. Obviously, on your end, we have no me. idea. I don't know what's happening, but whatever. So, yeah. <clears throat> it seems like mm -hmm. uh, you actually have colored light maps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yours just look like white. I think all the light maps are like monochrome to save, again, memory. Pre yeah. Precious. Precious. Precious memory. Okay, let's continue with the steps. There's more uh, steps. Yeah, yeah. This is true. I almost forgot that. There's probably... Oh. Wait. Yeah, okay. He opens a door. Oh, dude falls in the box. Classic. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when that happens? Oh, right. This guy. Uh, Mike the Cowboy. I was going to say Mike the Cowboy. I was going to call him Maverick or something, but why not? Mike the Cowboy. He is a Maverick. Oh, there's shadows in PC. Yeah, it's awesome looking. I'm envious because I'm over here playing on with this with no shadows like that. <laughs> Actually, outside of an occasional dip like there, I feel like the frame rate has also not been that bad. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like reasonably good. The dips don't for what last it is. very long. So they all seem to be like uh, some of physics related on your end usually. Yeah, like I, think, stuff like it's I think it's usually physics into. related. So once all the physics kick in, like here, you start to see some uh, dips, but nothing too horrendous. I mean, people really need, like, I think this time is so interesting just because of how different everything was. Oh, look, more point sample textures. Which one? Oh, yeah, like, but, like, why? Maybe to make them look punchier? I don't know. Yeah, like, I mean, if you were to take them away there, maybe you don't get, like, the... Would they just blend over so you wouldn't see, like, the ripples as much? Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, maybe it would do that. I don't know. That's super weird, but interesting choices. If any of you watching worked on this port, reach out. Yeah, I would love to know. I want to know more why? about what it, took, what it took to make this. So much ammo. Don't, don't If you want a bunch of ammo, there's a box of ammo in the room you just came from. Oh, whoops. That I highly recommend. I will get that uh, then. Yeah, there's, like, a huge box of it. Just because, like... I know in this game you can die pretty easily. You know, I so we I just had this weird like little tinge of of basically when I when Mike the cowboy was following me up the stairs, my feeling was actually like uh I, that I'm playing in co-op with you. <laughs> you know you know that feeling when you're running around with a partner and they're just following you around yeah. like that's that was my first sound. I was like wait a minute no. But that oh <laughs> this shoot. is an Alex. Okay. Um that reminds me, the 
box for Max Payne on the original Xbox says, I think erroneously, that it supports the System Link cable. And I distinctly remember with a friend back in the day being like, this game has co-op? Yeah, that is definitely <laughs> erroneous. That is not true. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, but this one. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's Mike the... Cowboy. What's his name? Mike the Dinosaur? I, I don't Mike know. Mike the Cowboy. Name. Mike the Cowboy dies about... in the scene. Oh my god, sure. I'm getting like lit. Are you just being absolutely destroyed? They're lighting me up like a Christmas tree over here, Alex. <laughs> I think they did nerf the shotgun from the first ah. game in the second one, though. Oh, Because oh, no. the, the uh, pump-action shotgun uh -oh. is like... Almost doom ass the only gun you need. Oh no, John, That's no! Bad. That's real bad. Let's, let's see what they do they Dude, look. Is there look, is look, there saves? Look, look, look. No, 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 There's not there's not there's not even there's not um, even, there's even not auto even, saves. There's not even auto saves. You have to, oh my you god. You have to main manually save. Dude, Woo! I think uh we might have to call Well, it. that's a thing. I think we gotta call this one. Let, let's just let's just speak. <laughs> that that's oh that is Dude, hilarious. What like what were they thinking? Like that? I like, mean, why like, not auto? Like uh, why not just the second or third just, level at this point? Like what is going on? Like, just, just just say. Did I not? Is it not? No, the, you didn't do any. Unless wrong, I have John. like the free McBoot card in slot one, and it can't save to that or something. I I mean. Whoa. I don't know. I don't know. That is intense. I, okay, um, actually, I'm going to try. Let me, let me actually try. Man, I'm going to do a manual save and see if it actually lets me uh, save to the card. But if there's no auto save, that's nuts. That is nuts. Okay. Uh, wait. Press X to load last game. Hmm. Huh. So if I go save, what's it going to do? Okay. It is. Yeah. It can actually. That saves. Look at that. See so you. Wow. Um, wow. That's that a, takes a while to say. That's a thing. Way. That is a thing. Uh, so literally, there, if it, you die, you start the game over. It's it's like um, kind of like a roguelike. That's what they've done here. <laughs> that's what. <they're> <laughs> Max, Payne, Max Payne the roguelike. roguelike. Uh, as he's always been known for, Max Payne the roguelike. That's. Uh, that is sure a decision. I mean, at least on PC, it went back to the beginning at the last level. Like, the level you're currently on. Like, I cannot even yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just, it's like, nope, we're going all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> I don't understand why they would do that. That's crazy. That is a very funny way for us to have to uh, end the video more or less earlier than we thought we would. But it is the way... It's the way the cookie crumbles, John. It's the way things work. Indeed. Uh, we did see... I, I would say, I would say, looking at the things we saw, PS2 version of this game fares a lot better than the first game, which is surprising given how this game was so much more intense than the first game. Yes. I would say it's clear that the developers that worked at the support had... If it's the same people, they've learned a lot since then. And they did, a, I would say, a pretty good job. I feel like... If this was the only version of Max Payne 2 you had access to back in the day, you still get a good experience of Max Payne 2. Uh, I'm especially complimentary of the fact that like we didn't see any extra load screens at all, right? Like the full levels were there, uh, which is genuinely shocking. Mm -hmm. Again, that may change later. Who knows? But like the fact that up to this point, because we had seen it already a lot in Max Payne 1, right? That subway was tiny. It was broken up into so many sections. And here it's like, not at all. And the, the levels seem bigger. And it just, it feels like they've really translated the experience over well. And it, they cut corners in exactly where you'd expect corners to be cut. Mm -hmm. uh, so. They did a good job. Given, given that, my hat is off to the team behind this. Maybe someday I'll get a copy of the Xbox version and we can look at that as well. Because I am now very curious to try it. Because it is actually backwards compatible, but I don't want to try it through that. I want to try it on my actual original Xbox. I think See that's how far it actually more lines up yeah. with what we have. Because now we're going to have like this as reference footage for that. We can always go back. I have no problem going back and look again. So yeah, we should, we should save the footage we have here and we'll do maybe a follow-up video in the future where we take a look at the Xbox version and maybe you can throw Max Payne 2 onto like a low spec PC just for fun. 
Oh like, yeah. Drop like, your specs down. See what see what happens. See what it looks like if you're running like a mid to low end PC. In apparently this game runs on like DX6 stuff. All right. Well, uh, if you do, it's time to find like out. if you want to push it. Can you run it on a Voodoo too? I don't know. Let's you find out. maybe can. Let's find out. Well, um, next but time, yeah, next time. thank you for right here on Digital Foundry. <laughs> <laughs> Max made out of Voodoo 2. Um, yes, thank you for watching this video. Obviously, like, subscribe. Uh, hit us up on Patreon. Um, tell us how much you enjoyed this video. Uh, but until next time, this is John and Alex saying for me, Auf Wiedersehen und... Uh, right back at you. Damn it. Hey, we're working together on this.